Kind of a quick update to a story I did last week about how the United States needs to have drone carriers immediately. Spain wants to convert its aircraft carrier for drone operations. The U.S. needs to take an America-class amphibious assault ship, I'm sorry, Marine Corps, the USS Helmand Province, or the USS Fallujah, and convert it to a U.S. drone aircraft carrier. A lot of countries are doing this. We need to be at the forefront. We can't afford to use one of our super carriers to do this. But we can't afford to use one of our amphibious assault ships to do it. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's get into this just a little bit. Spain wants to convert its aircraft carrier for drone operations. Spain is the latest nation to look at introducing carrier-based drones, which it plans to integrate with its sole aircraft carrier, the Spanish Navy flagship Juan Carlos I. While it's unclear what kind of launch and recovery system will be added to the warship, should the studies prove successful, introducing carrier-based drones could help ensure the long-term relevance of the vessel once its venerable EAV-8B Matador II attack jets head for retirement. And the article goes into how Spain has the desire to operate these, this sit rep off Juan Carlos. It's an Airbus, basically an Airbus version of, I think, a Predator, a Reaper, something like that. It's the Airbus version of it. I, I just do got to point out, love that paint. Love that tail paint, baby. That is so sweet. Loving it. But the article goes through their desire to do so and why. And it cites numerous other countries, such as Turkey. Turkey's flagship, the Anadolu. Anadolu. The Anadolu is planned to use as a carrier for different tiers of armored dro armed drones. And they already have the T-3B. landing and taking off from it. The T-3B is a very effective drone that has been used in Ukraine by the Ukrainians to high effect against Russian targets. This is obviously the naval variant. Takes off no problem. And lands no problem. You have to compliment the Turks on their ability to become carrier capable in a matter of just years on scale with the Chinese. That's not exactly a good thing when you hear the Chinese part of it. But it goes through them, the Gray Eagle. This is the Gray Eagle. This is on South Korea's amphibious ship Dakdo. And the South Koreans have also recently come out with plans to build an aircraft carrier of their own for drone operations. I want to bring that up. There it is. This is their planned aircraft carrier that Hyundai is building. You can see it has F-35s on there, but they have been uh, lately talking about putting drones on there. I assume there will be manned aircraft. It's not actually a F-35. My apologies. That is the K-21, I believe. The uh, Koreans' own aircraft. Let's see if uh, this one... Nope, that doesn't have it on there. But the Koreans have uh, built a domestic stealth fighter. And I don't doubt the Koreans' ability to field it quickly. Korea's stealth fighter. This is the KF-21. And they clearly have a naval variant of it. This is Korea's homemade stealth fighter 
The only one they've worked with is Poland. You can see the little Polish flag right there, right next to the Korean flag on the nose of that beauty. She is a beauty too, isn't she? She's gorgeous. But the U.S. needs to get it. We need to figure it. We can take one of our ships off the line right now. Yes, it, we have a problem building ships, obviously. This program has been at the forefront of talking about that. But other countries are building them too. This is Turkey's. We've already seen the uh, TRB-3 land and take off from this. This is Iran's. This is Iran's. Obviously, it's an old, I'm sure, an oil ship or something like that that they're converting into a flat top, and it's going to make a wonderful reef someday at the bottom of the Persian Gulf. There's no doubt about that. But the fact is, is that they are trying to be at the cutting edge of things. I'm trying. You give them credit for effort, you know. You give them an A for effort. But we're going to give them an S for sinking. The Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force Izumo class is rated for the F-35 and also drones. The United States needs to get on the ball on this. This is a serious, serious matter. We can take one of our amphibious assault ships right off the line right now and convert it as a drone carrier. We've already tested these ships as lightning carriers, as I said in that video. 25 F-35 Lightnings can go on an America-class amphibious assault ship, making it a small aircraft carrier. We can increase that firepower greatly. We can increase that firepower greatly. We have the ability and the means to increase that firepower greatly. We have the drones to do it. You've seen the drones landing on those smaller flat tops. We can do the same thing. We're the U.S. Navy. We have that capability. Navy, I know you'll never see this. Drone carriers. China's got one. Korea's going to have one. Turkey's got one. Now Spain's going to want one. And Iran has one. We need one. We have to work out how this is going to work. We can't do it with one of our super carriers because we use those for other things. So let's grab one. USS Fallujah, USS Hellman Province, the next U.S. drone aircraft carrier. I just wanted to give a quick update here. I thought it was kind of cool. Spain wants to convert its aircraft carrier for drone operations. I would actually expect to see the United Kingdom want to do that with either the uh, Queen Elizabeth or the Prince Charles. I wonder if it's called the King Charles now. Whichever. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they wanted to do that too. Drones are the future. And soon FPV drones will have more range and they can be carried by the thousands by these ships thousands go to Ukraine and see what they can do they are the scourge of the battlefield and they would be the scourge of any ship drones drone carriers drone operations the US needs to be first the only way you're first is by actually having it in hand and messing around with it I was going to say something else I hope we do it but that was it. Just a quick uh, update on that. Uh, thank you. And I appreciate you.